Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining this session. I'm going to share with you a hack of very popular and uh, common uh, device, and maybe that will explain what do we mean by, by saying the world of uh, hackable things. So, um, my name is Asia Tias. I'm originally the founder of Dojo Labs. Uh, we're building an IoT security platform for service providers. The company was founded in 2014 and was acquired by Bulgari in 2016. We're building a platform that, by using it, service provider can offer managed IoT security services to their customers. And the hack I'm going to share with you was actually uh, discovered by our research team, which is doing an ongoing research to uh, improve the security of the things that we all use. So the infographics I'm sharing um, was originally uh, published in a uh, research by HP several years ago, and I'm using an old one intentionally uh, for a simple reason. Uh, since then, uh, nothing really has been uh, improved. Actually, in some cases, it got even worse. And we still see that despite the fact that the largest cyber attacks that happened uh, in the recent years, still many vendors ship IoT devices with built-in vulnerabilities, lacking basic stuff like encrypted uh, barrier, software bugs that introduce a lot of uh, vulnerabilities. And as uh, more and more consumers uh, adopt them, this is certainly raises concern about the security and the privacy of those uh, users. So the hack itself is uh, on the Amazon ring. For those of you who are not familiar with the Amazon ring, this is a connected doorbell. It has a very uh, simple function. First, it allows two-way video and audio communication between the owner using a mobile app and the device itself. In some cases, when integrated with a smart lock, it also enables locking and unlocking the door remotely. So practically hacking to this device takes something simple like a software bug and turns it into a physical burglary. And this is just uh, to illustrate what, what does it mean, uh, hacking uh, a device. So I want to share with you uh, something, uh, some scene from Mission Impossible to show you what it takes to deceive a uh, security guard in Hollywood. Well, it uh, looks like size fiction, right? Uh, what, what we're showing here is a real life and even without the help from Tom Cruise. So, uh, bear with me for a couple of minutes. So, what, what is the hack all about? In a normal operation, the ring doorbell will communicate with the Amazon cloud using a created barrier. That means all the traffic between the device and the cloud service is encrypted. However, what they missed, all the traffic from the cloud to the app, is not encrypted. And then we can apply a man-in-the-middle attack and practically capture the video and then replay it as we wish, uh, deceiving the user. So what we do in, in, in this hack, and uh, we're going to show you, it's a two-stage hack. First, we're applying the man-in-the-middle attack on the network. So that means each time uh, the hacker is in the same network with the target, that means the user with the app, he can actually uh, gain access and control over his uh, ring goal. So phase one of the attack uh, can be used with the very simple tools, just arm spoofing the router, making every device thinking that the hacking computer, which is the one I'm using, uh, is the router. And then uh, we are capturing all the traffic. That can be any communication between the owner of the uh, ring and its app. 
and as long as we want. And while we're doing this, we're still duplicating the traffic, so the owner of the uh, uh, ring doorbell still thinks that everything is normal and he sees what he needs to see. The second phase of it is the actual uh, deception. So when the real user or the real owner of the ring calls to the ring, we block the legitimate traffic and then we transmit whatever we want. So the scenario is that the guy believes that he sees a familiar face or someone he knows, but actually there is someone else near the doorbell, and he opens the door, do any other function, thinking that the picture he sees is a real life picture, but this is actually something that we uh, transmit the norm here. So now we can switch to the screen of the demo. What you see on the left side is just a simple tool we developed to demonstrate uh, the hack. And on the right side, you see a replication of the Ring Doorbell app, which uh, any Ring Doorbell is using. So uh, the uh, man in the middle attack is already taking place. Now we'll start capturing traffic. I'll ask uh, Karen to help me with the demo just by clicking the Ring Doorbell and calling me. OK, so I get a call. And now I see Karen and you, the audience, are uh, here on my app. And to me, as a user, it all seems normal. Um, hi, Karen. OK, thank you. And I'll end up the call. And then we'll go to the next phase. Now we'll start blocking the traffic from the end user. So would you please hand over the ring doorbell to Mindy? So now Mindy's at the door, and she's the hacker in, in, in that sense. So would you please call? OK. So now the user sees nothing, because we blocked the traffic. And I decide just to show him Karen instead of Mindy. So you can see that Mindy is holding the ring doorbell, but actually we see the previous one, which is Karen. So practically we can deceive the user to think that he sees a real life and familiar scenario where actually he sees what we want him to see. Thank you, we can uh, end it now. So just to summarize the, the session, as a society, we all adopt a lot of connected things that have a lot of capabilities collecting data about our life, whether they are microphones, cameras, body sensors, etc. And a lot of the users, whether are consumers or businesses, are not aware to the privacy and security risks that those devices are introducing. And as an industry, we have an obligation to handle this, whether the IoT vendors, the service providers and players like us, making the world of connected things safer and more private. We are all pro-IoT, but we have to take into account all the privacy and security aspects and make sure that we have a more enjoyable and, and useful uh, life using all those connected devices, but still private and safe. So thank you very much.